this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently saw Ra Bleh. Racing Arizona. Yeah, I can speak English well. It is my first language. And it stars Nicolas Cage, and I forget who plays the female lead. Tom Arnold is in it, which is interesting because it's a younger Tom Arnold, same thing with Nick Cage. And Nick Cage delightfully plays this <laughs> silver-tongued devil of a scam artist and he gets uh, Eddie the police officer to fall in love with him and she just over time he just wheedles his way into her heart of course he has sincere <laughs> intentions when doing this you can tell that he's just smitten by her and they get married um, <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you why it's called Raising Arizona because that would actually give away the plot, but it's a very sweet film. It's very, uh, hope filled. Um, I thought it was just a, a beautiful film about love and sacrifice and, um, <clears throat> also was the issue with the whole revolving door system we call prison it illustrates this in a very concrete way and even for a movie of its time I think it does this um, extremely well and as far as Coen Brothers films and I adore the Coen Brothers I, th I think this is one of their best even though it's um, one of their first and by far it's really quirky and a lot of what comes out of it is rather um, <laughs> out in left field just spontaneous especially with one character <laughs> it becomes involved in this whole debacle and <laughs> it's really quite funny you could see that it was a product definitely of its time it's like it took inspiration from Mad Max I think which was popular and, um, but there was another movie, Thunderdome, I think Thunderdome, which is along the same lines of Mad Max and is how, um, bizarre it really, and I've seen some bizarre things, so yeah, <laughs> I could tell you quite a few things about, um, film, but, uh, this one is one where, it's not that hard to figure out. The, the plot's really not that complicated. It's not one that's going to make you think too terribly much. It's just straightforward and it's really quite incredible with character development and you see Hai start to evolve over time in wrestling with his past and adjusting to this new role that's literally thrust upon him thanks to Eddie. I'm not going to say what it is, but you probably know, <laughs> given the title, but it is by far one of the funniest films I've ever seen. The lines are very quotable. It's just, it's fantastic, and I give it two thumbs up, five stars, hands down. Yeah, it might be a little bit corny. Yeah, it might be, a, well, it's not really corny to the effect of being overly so. It's just, it's fun. It's, it's just a really enjoyable movie. You can just sit back and laugh and watch. And there are some moments in the movie that are just so unbelievable that you think, how could they have allowed that to happen again? They're such idiots. But it's also a very um, intriguing commentary on, like I said, the prison system, which is broken. And I thought, wow, they're actually going that route? Hmm, interesting indeed, very fascinating. But nonetheless, I uh, wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my life. Uh, for those of you who have been watching me for a while, uh, this one might be a little bit harder for me to get through, honestly, to be uh, frank. But um, a couple weeks ago, uh, my now ex-boyfriend of 10 years, and, and 10 years is a long time, it's a hell of a long time, uh, he wanted to see me back when we first met and he had made promises and he never kept them and 
then uh, he decided, oh, he began talking to me again, and I was happy because I still very much love this man, and I was blind because I never really saw how controlling and, um, <clears throat> manipulative he was I, I mean I don't I shouldn't say things like that but honestly I forgive him and and what he did and and what he wanted and how he wanted me to go about it because uh, against my morals and ethics no I, I am not going to stand for any of that so I decided not to go through with what he wanted and uh he had actually set me up with somebody as process of making new friends because I don't have very many friends and uh, I'm still trying to get over this one but um, what happened to me and I'm trying to be strong and I'll get through this but what happened to me Wednesday is I was sexually assaulted I, there was no rape involved but I was sexually assaulted, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was touched, I was kissed, I was groped, and fondled in a way that I do not wish to be until I actually get to know somebody well enough and trust them, and th th this, this guy, this schmuck, he just would not listen to reason, and I stood up for myself, and I was very assertive, <clears throat> And when I said, and uh, I let him know, though, if sands or butts, that I did not want to be handled in this way. And uh, said schmuck finally left, and it was like talking to a paintbrush because this guy's IQ, my god, <laughs> it's like an amoeba. <laughs> no spine, no conscience, one track mind. <laughs> yeah, protozoa. No, I wouldn't even say protozoa. I can't even say tardigrade, because I think a tardigrade would be smarter than this asshole. Excuse my French. But, um, anyways. <laughs> I'd rather be a tardigrade than be an amoeba. But, I'm ranting. Anyways. This asshole, pardon my French, and I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm, I'm really mad. He, um, <laughs> of all things... He actually said, thanks, I had fun. And I'm like, fuck you. But, you know, excuse my French. But normally I, I don't curse. But when I get angry like that, you bring out the worst of me, I will become Tony Soprano. And you better bet your ass that I hope, it hit, I hope my door will hit you before you leave, hard. But that jackass is out of my life. I'm never gonna talk to him ever. After that happened, I just thought, no, I'm not speaking to this person ever again. Um, I'm on Plenty of Fish, and so many people from Christian websites are telling me, oh no, don't do that, they're diseased, they're not looking for the right kind of relationship. You're just going to be um, broken hearted and all this other shit. Excuse me. Uh, but, you know, I believe in God. I love God. I have faith. Uh, I was led there because I feel like this is the only way I can actually meet people because I have no other avenue. <sighs> my, um, my network is not that great. So... I'm just hoping that I can meet somebody that's worthwhile that I can start a family with. But uh, for the time being, I'm just I'm doing my best to learn how to love myself and live for myself and not really give a fuck, excuse my French, what other people think. Because I'm sick and tired of people saying, well, you're boring. No, I'm not. I'm not boring. You don't know me. Um, I'm going to live the best life I can and uh, do the best I can and not give a damn about what anybody else thinks or says because their life is not mine. And uh, whatever God has planned for me, 
say la vie. That's just the way that things are. But that's that's my update. And sorry for the crying, but it's just I've I've been through hell this week. Weekend was a lot better. I got to see Leonid and friends, and and they were unbelievable. They were very talented. They're a group from Russia. And they play Chicago tribute songs. So, yeah, I absolutely love them. And <laughs> I made some good friends that way. And hopefully I get to see them in concert again because that was very, very enjoyable. And then the day, um, Friday, I took a day, a day to decompress. I'm still decompressing. <laughs> and, uh, of course, yesterday I went to the Children's Museum. And they have some new exhibits there. So it's extremely fascinating if you want to go and experience Greece um, the ancient treasures of Greece I would highly highly recommend that because if you're like me and you are in love with mythos do it and you're gonna, you're gonna learn quite a bit and of course is uh, take me there Greece there's another um, event or exhibit where you can experience it if, if, if you don't have to fly to Greece to experience actual Greek culture and I'm going to be doing that this summer to be honest with a Greek fest that's coming up in August so I'm really looking forward to that I've done it before but this year I'm going to dance because um, I'm just I'm just going to be more grateful be more thankful enjoy life more and just take life as it comes because I'm just um I've been really really aggravated but I know things are going to improve so that's all I have to say live long and prosper ciao tutti